Hello and welcome to video number seven and let's talk about how to sell on Instagram. Now you understand that selling indirectly is what works. Let's talk about how you can make money. If you follow this blueprint, then by now you have understood how to create a true fan that loves and is willing to follow you. You know, they want to buy because they feel connected to you. They feel that they have a kind of, they figured out their identity and part of that identity is part of uh, you helping them and they can feel better. So that's why they want to buy from you is because people like to buy from people who they like. And people don't like to buy things from uh, people they don't like. I mean, think about that. Pretty simple. So whatever you might be, scuba diver, business person, artist, whatever your brand might be, the question begs, how do you get people to buy your products? So we briefly covered a little bit about this already, but I'm just kind of recapping and reemphasizing this. But what about your Shopify e-commerce store products? Well, you can simply create a store that showcases the product that fits the lifestyle that you are portraying on your profile. You can create quotes, you can create pictures, you can create inspirational images that talk about specific products on your Shopify store. So if you think about like a sneak peek preview for a movie, this is basically it. You could do that for a short period of time and say, hey, it, by the way, I was able to negotiate a special deal for you. And let's say you direct them to your Shopify e-commerce store. You could do that. And then you reveal that in the store and you can say, for the first 100 people, I'm going to give you X percent off. And then the price is you know, going to go up from there. So you can utilize scarcity to drive people to your store and buy those products. So you're thinking about there's a little bit of marketing involved in this as well. So you can also do this with affiliate products or even products or services that you own. So let's say, for example, that you have a training course on the X niche. You create a Instagram lifestyle post that relate to people's lives after they take your course, perhaps. So you could show people who took your course. You could show maybe it's a scuba diving training course and maybe how to start out with scuba diving as a newbie or something. So you could create posts related to that, posts related to, uh, if you go through the training course, uh, you'll be able to get to this point where, like me, where I am able to go scuba dive wherever I want to and do this and that kind of thing. Um, you can also cross niches as well. You could have like a business owner who's doing scuba diving, say, I'm able to, get to go out and do whatever I want because I run my own business. And if you like to, you know, check out this profile for my business, you can, or you can mix it in. You can be the scuba diving uh, business person. You know, you can mix the different niches in it, but just keep in mind that you don't want to deviate too much from that target mindset because the more broad things are, the more general things are, uh, you actually lose money that way. So the more specific, the better. So you can show the results and the benefits and you're likely to sell without even having to sell. You don't even have to sell. But when it comes to actually selling and pushing the sales, you can insert a little bit of scarcity. You don't want to do too much, but a little bit of scarcity like the, this is going to end at a certain date or a certain time, or there's only a hundred people or 50 spots left. You can do that. That's fine, but don't do too much of it on Instagram. And that's why Instagram is so powerful because if you don't like selling, I mean, you can sell really well just by showcasing your lifestyle and that's it. Now you can also leverage videos and Instagram is allowing you to do that. But keep in mind that with Instagram, you have a very short video length about, I think it's about 15 seconds or so, but a lot of videos you see that are 10 second clips. So they're really jump cuts, meaning they show what the person wants to see and then they jump to something else and jump to something else. So it's not like an, like a YouTube video where you can expend it or extend it to like 10 minutes or something. So just keep in mind that they have to be really, really short. 
And another thing is, while this is one way to get more eyeballs, you don't want to show your company logo at the beginning of the video. So you'll see a lot of people do like intro videos or outros on their YouTube videos. You can't really do that with Instagram because you're going to lose their, their attention span. Instagram is quick, fast, easy, short, straight to the point kind of thing. So if you could explain your product, maybe the scuba diving gear really, really fast, you could show the scuba diving gear. You could show you like jumping in, you know, and putting it on, jumping it in, and they have to be really short. So basically you can tell a story with one second here, one second here, one second here versus a YouTube video. Of course, it would be more so like, you know, you watch them, it's like 10 minute video or five minute video, or even a few minute video. You just can't do that with Instagram. So you can actually lose eyeballs if you show an intro video on Instagram. So you don't want to do any of that. 